Hey, uh, UPTV, it's uh, Paul Skinner here again. I am uh, for my 16th show. Um, I think I got some good stuff today. So uh, I'll get started with, uh, I think probably most people have uh, did their New Year's resolution. And maybe my list is a little bit longer than most people's. Uh, usually the two basic ones are... Uh, to not smoke and to exercise. Well, I got a list about uh, seven of them, and it's mine are, uh, let's see, dealing arm, no more dealing arms, uh, aiding abetting, copyright infringement, uh, jaywalking, no more tagging, you know, those uh, tags off mattresses, I gotta stop that. Um, and last but not least, smoking. So that's my uh, New Year's resolutions. So, uh, so uh, diving into bit number two. Um, hold on. I'm on the film now. What? Yeah, Italian sounds good tonight. Just uh, hold out. I'm sorry about that. But um, let's see what bit I. I, I've went to college quite a bit, like I say, and I've uh, got, it's quite of a sporadic education. I, um, this one uh, summer I studied abroad in uh, Switzerland, and it was kind of a good experience. I well, had a little hut by the Alps, and it was good learning the uh, culture and the, the people involved, and uh, well, I got uh, the, one thing that sticks out in the old cranium is uh, one day I uh, got a knock on my door and it was this, this hot Swedish blonde named uh, Yeah, 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 or something. And she goes, uh, Could you come by next morning and knock me up? I say, Yeah, sure. This is a native cust customs. I'll be uh, more than happy to come knock you up, uh, Mrs. Yeah. So uh, next morning, I come knocking on her door and my pants around my ankles. I said, let's party, baby. Ooh, yeah, all right. And um, I uh, hop into bed with her. She says, uh, she looked confused, but she says, you know, uh, you got some pretty good equipment there, uh, her, uh, Paul. And uh, so uh, uh, we slept together. But later, after the fifth fifth uh, rendezvous at Yaya's place, she said, uh, "What I meant to understand, what she under what she tried to convey to me was to wake her up to go to work. She worked at a Swedish uh, beauty salon, but she says, you know, me coming over and uh, sleeping with her, well, along with a coffee, gave her that extra boost. So she was." Uh, um, so it all worked out. Um, it was just a summer there, but I actually spent about two years there and really got uh, into the customs and stuff. So, um, so that was good. Um, I'll go to uh, some famous, I don't know if famous or not, one-liners. Um, this is an old Chinese proverb I've had. He who sticks finger up butt wake up with sticky finger. That's one of them, and uh, let's see, let me check here. Okay. Um, I uh, I have a pretty loose schedule. I'm, I'm like I say I'm try. I I keep pretty busy with my stuff. But you know I I like my schedules loose, like my women. You know. But um, but anyway, I. Uh, oh, I, I'm uh, like I said. I've published. Uh, 
trying to publish a couple psychology psychology books that I've been doing, and uh, and my publisher slash lover, you know, is getting suspicious of me. She well, she says, Paul, have you been writing around writing around on me? I said, uh, what makes you think that? But anyway, um, let's see. I, I'm known, I, like I say, I've been a uh, few years, I've been uh, to functions at the local sororities and stuff and done various stuff with the gals. Um, some of it was a little uh, intimate and stuff. And, uh, but, you know, word got around, you know, girls talk and stuff. And, they say, and I eventually got tagged with the name of Mr. Empty Pants. And the... Uh, the slogan by the sororities was like, you know, go home, girl. This guys ain't got much downstairs. Uh, but that's just their opinion, you know. It's not mine. But uh, but uh, going back, going back to high school, my my counselor. I was like a little rascal in high school. I would do various, you know, odd things, and I met with my counselor. And he finally said what was on his mind about me. He says, Paul, I met some damn sons of bitches in my day, and I met some goddamn sons of bitches in my day. <laughs> but, Paul, you are the goddamnest dirty son of bitch that I've ever met. And, I, and he goes, I said, I'm glad I'm graduating, you know, because you are, I think that you're, you're full of shit, <laughs> basically. But anyway, um, going to famous fighters I've known. Um, I knew uh, one fighter was uh, Jory Chicago. He fought out of Denver. And then there was this uh, kid in Miami. He fought out of Tallahassee or Tallahassee. And one more fighter I knew was a uh, kid, let's see, kid New York. He fought out of L.A. So that, that was, uh, they, they didn't want to represent their hometown or something, so they went by different names, why I don't know, but, um, but anyway, um, I don't know how many bits that is, let me see where I'm at here. Like I said, I'm getting a little bit better at memorizing some of my stuff. Um... Okay, one one of my daily routines during the summer, I drive around in an ice cream truck and uh, and talk to the girl. I said, I got some sweet treats for you girls today. Come over here and get your sweet treats. Get your sweet asses over here and get your treats, you know. So, uh, and now, you know, I'll be honking the horn and driving around, you know, and stuff. And uh, it's... Uh, I don't know. I, I, my number one coping skill, I think, in life is not to care what people think, and that's why a good thing. But anyway, okay. I think I got maybe one more, two more, maybe things. Oh, okay, uh, more pickup lines that I've used. Um, like you know, I go as soon as I go into a bar and see some women, I like. I like uh, Hey, good looking, what you got cooking? How about cooking something up with her, Paul, a.k.a. Herb, uh, a.k.a. Uh, Kip? Uh, that's one of them. And another one was, uh, Miss, I'll shave your legs if you shave my back. And she goes, oh, that's gross, Paul. But your razor are mine. But uh, another one, I th this is... This is actually a, a, a true story. I was at a bar and talking to a 20 year old, and I said, uh, What are you going to get me for my birthday? Oh, shit. I hope I'm getting audio here. Yeah, I told her, What are you. 
Okay. Well, I said, what are you uh, going to get me for my birthday? And uh, she says, what do you want, Paul? And uh, I went behind a bar. I said, I, was, I had my uh, leg around her and <laughs> kissing on her and stuff. I said, well, the obvious, son, but if I can't have that, uh, a, a bag of Reese's peanut butter would be good. Uh, some cologne that's, that would say stud on it would be good. Maybe a baseball cap that said, uh, I can't remember. Um, some people say think they have Alzheimer's disease. And I said a, uh, what else did I say? That's, the, that's my three or four things that I've said. And uh, so, as I say, you know, I uh, keep on working on the ladies. Once in a while, I might get lucky, but, you know, it's how it goes. You never know. Well, okay, well... Uh, I, uh, by the way, if there's any adult film directors out there that need new talent, I got some talent down here. I think I got the personality and the charisma maybe to do something. But, you know, um, you can reach me at kipdouglas uh, at gmail.com if you want to. But, um, but anyway, I did make my first adult movie. It's called... Uh, Where's Paul the Peter Persher? And actually, I was like laying underneath the bed and my uh, wife was like banging my uh, best man at the wedding. And, uh, and I looked up, you know, and I'm already known in the industry as a Kmart version of Ron Jeremy. So, but uh, they tagged that name to me, you know, that's, uh, that's a compliment. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. But anyway, I go to my last bit. I um, was walking. My number one pickup line with ladies is, uh, do you come here often? So I just, you know, walking around. Hey, how's it going? I just walk around town say, do you come here often? Do you come here often? You know, after four years of this, you know, she'd be riding a bike, do you come here often? I went to my favorite host hotel restaurant, and I was eating in the uh, lobby of the hotel. And lo and behold, I met a director friend of mine uh, named uh, Pierre Sims. And he says, uh, I, got, I got a chance, Paul, for you to use that famous line. After you're done eating, come up to room 17, and I'll show you. Uh, I was hesitant, but uh, I went up and went into room 17. Um, I cleared it with the hotel man. I said, well, he's my friend. I walked in and there was five naked dudes like at the side of the uh, bed. And there's one big busty redhead, fiery redhead, on the, on the bed. And Pierre goes, you know, go work your magic, Paul. And I go up there and said, uh, do you come here often? She goes, yeah, big boy, I come here all the time. That's how I earned the big bucks. I go, okay. She says, do you want to join in the fun? I said, oh, do I? So I went in there and, uh, and joined in. And uh, I think they brought another girl in there too. And, uh, and better yet, I got paid for it. So, uh, so that, that was good. Um, I think I'm out of bed, so I uh, will check and see here. I'll make sure I didn't miss anything. I think I've done about eight bits today. Yeah, that's the end of my show. I uh, did some prepared for it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I uh, enjoy the views I get, and I hope I can keep uh, 
keep entertaining you. And of course, I'd like to thank uh, Kaleeb and Jason. Kaleeb's filming me this week. And uh, like I say, this time I said, I, I, I'll say, uh, last week I said, uh, you, I know the line, you know the line. But this week it's uh, Kaleeb filming me, so Kaleeb knows it. I'll just stick with the same old thing. Um, ha well, Happy New Year, and I bid you adieu.